also to the Azores Islands. And um, I can't tell you how meaningful it was for me to be back traveling. Why? Well, I mean, partially it's reacquaint. When you have children and children change your game for about two decades, you have to realize that that's a transient period. It felt like it was going to go on forever. And so this was sort of trying to figure out what is it like to go from traveling in your 20s and 30s without kids to traveling with your kids at the last moment that you still have them at home. Um, and now you're going to have the rest of your life without them again, but you can't go back to backpacking and doing certain other things that were easy for you. So you have to figure out how to rejoin your previous life that has been in progress without you actually- Pending for a long time. Exactly. A sabbatical from life almost. The other thing is that um, you forget about parts of yourself. Like I forgot that that I spoke Turkish, not well, <laughs> but I spoke rudimentary Tarzan Turkish 30 years ago. And to be back in Istanbul and to suddenly have words and phrases and things come back um, and be talking to cab drivers and, and just people in the street, seeing the change, obviously there's been an enormous amount of change in Turkey. Um, Portugal is fascinating, seeing certain things uh, at the end of their life cycle. We were at a synagogue in Bursa, where the sort of the home of the Ottoman Empire, uh, where they were down to like their last 50 people, which is a common enough thing uh, when we visit diaspora Jewish communities, sort of at the tail end with the embers still glowing hot, but no, no chance.